Annie, she's employed at Expandio, where she works as a consultant and a facilitator in leadership and organizational development. She's also a project leader for EU projects with focus on female entrepreneurs. And she is a yoga teacher. Woohoo! She combines the yoga uh, high awareness with a strategic and business mindset applying systems theory to navigate as best as she can in this complex world. She has a fascination on how much people can accomplish together. And she's always eager to apply her knowledge and experience to inspire and train other people. And uh, I'm truly happy to have you here, Annie. And also uh, the fact that you are actually in one of uh, my pilot cases and developing um, a, a course together with me. So, hi, Annie. Hey, Let's everybody. see where you are. Oh, you're beautiful in your Can hat. You <laughs> <laughs> Can everyone hear me? Yes. Yeah, good. I have a Wild Western hat <laughs> representing my day today because, um, yeah, as you can see, I borrowed a room. I'm in Malmö on business meetings the whole days. So it's been, yeah, full on, but I'm very happy to be here. And this is a beautiful end of the day. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much yeah. for the presentation, Eva. Um, it was very so, so tell us about yourself. Who's Sunny? Yeah. I'm a high spirit person with a lot of energy and a lot of ideas and big care for, or a big heart and care for social sustainability uh, as ecological as well and <laughs> the business part. However, somehow in my projects, I very often end up uh, focusing a lot on the human side. And uh, the, the reason or how I found this SDG course was I finished my master in social or er, in strategic leadership towards sustainability. And it is with a systemic approach, which is sometimes very, I mean, it is very complex and I like that it acknowledged that. However, I missed a bit of the business part. And even though I have a bachelor in business and been in the business world a lot, I still had this um, search like, support on to to like fill this gap I needed to actually get to more concrete action support consultants it's like businesses where I'm consulting and also for some more guidance for myself to get to more action yeah and you know I remember that we had a, a, a small conversation before you actually enrolled the course about um, about the business part yeah um, so so yeah, so and, and I can feel that even though you are you're quite young. I mean, I think you are the youngest one in in uh, in this course. May I ask how old you are? <laughs> I'm 28. I'm 28. Yeah. yeah. So you're 28, and yeah. but I think you you manage this perfectly. And uh, and uh, and I have a question for you there. How did you feel about the business part? What? How did you? Um, I really enjoyed it because, as I said, I was lacking this a bit in the from my masters, and also my peer colleagues from my masters. We, I actually, am very close in that network still, and we had meetings for like how to support each other. And many of us are consultants. And then uh, I'm very happy to that I took this course because then I could also, like, still with this awareness and with the depth of the scientific base still get to action and also i could see quickly where i before could focus on the strategy and vision work in consultancy i could also like get a tool for how to market it so i could also put it put a name on it it's not only internal in organizations but we can also communicate and connect it to the sdgs because it is such a global framework and everyone knows about it like they might not know what i refer to from a systems perspective but when i just use the simple word or like the SDG, they know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's great. great. Yeah. So, and your dreams about the future, what are those? 
I was so inspired to listen to everyone's dreams of the future and I share a lot of them with you. Um, I like to start from myself. So a dream is that I become even more courageous. I like to lead by example. And I really want to see like people in my network and leaders or people I work with also become more um, courageous. For example, um, before Karina, you mentioned the spiritual part. I mean, it doesn't have to, and also I think it was Emma Espon who said, like the small things and just get to action. And sometimes it doesn't have to be a big thing. It can just be like starting the session with five minutes, like um, breathing. And those things I notice when I do it with groups, I actually notice that people take after and they actually follow you. They actually do things. Even people that you might sometimes I'm a bit like, will they follow? Will they do this? Because it's a bit progressive for some people, but then they do and they actually notice the effect of it and they go down one level and they actually arrive and work from their heart. Like, still with the business in, in mind and with the end purpose. But yeah, I, I totally believe we need to combine it. it. You can't do good business without healthy people. And yeah, people will not stay healthy if we don't do good business. So it's very, yeah. Uh, That's wonderful. I love it, Annie. And I, I, I usually used to say that combining your heart with your brain, uh, but I, I say it's my sustainability heart and my business brain, but actually you have, like um you have like um exercises for that for the heart part so that's wonderful and uh, i would love to learn more from you about sure, the, sure. yeah yeah of course okay so um thank you so much annie for sharing your story and thank i wish you, you yeah i wish you the best of luck and uh I, uh, cheers and congratulations to you. Cheers and thank you. Cheers. <laughs>